What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. Um, I'm doing Love Game Season 3, Episode 7. Yes, this is when one of the bad girls go home. So let me just start off. I know I haven't been doing them. My bad. My apologies. I just have been busy with my life. You know, don't have to be on YouTube all the time. But um, the episode started off with... Oh, I forgot already who started it off. Um, Jonathan and Matthew, they was talking about how there's three girls, six guys here. And everything's getting crazy because basically all the girls got a connection with somebody. Judy got a connection with Matthew. Um, Corey got a connection with Joey. And Sydney got a connection with John. So it's like there's nobody who's going to win that don't have a connection with those three people. So, other than that, Judy was talking to Edson, saying that she feels bad that she hasn't spent no time with Edson, and that she wants to make sure that he's still on team Judy. Edson was just like, I'm here on Judy's team, but I'm here to play the game. So whatever girl is down to play the game at the end, then that's who I'm going to be with. So after that, Sydney was talking to John, saying, you know you mind. You know you mind. I was just like... This is a reality TV show. There's no yours. This is a game. He's a player. Hence his little nickname on here. And I'm pretty sure y'all know that. He poured beer in Judy's face. But John is my dude. I fucked with John. Shout out to John. No disrespect to him. But at first he came off as a shady person. But... And once the camera was actually on him, on him, you can see that he actually have a good personality and all that good stuff. But other than that, the first part, I was just like, John, <laughs> I gave him a chance. I didn't get mad at him or nothing. I was just like confused when he recorded the video on Judy. I was just like, um, okay. But yeah, anyways. So Tanisha comes in the thing and tells all the girls that, and the dudes to come in the living room. The girls sit down in a little three chairs on the side. The guys are standing up. Tanisha tells them this is a dare contest. And they was like, we're going to do it. So she was like, but that's not all. Out walks the baddest bitch with the biggest chin. Natalie, man. I don't have much to say about you, Natalie. But hi. Probably you know me on Twitter, so. Yeah, that's almost say I'm not gonna bring it up no more. But um so the first there was um let Natalie choose one of your men to kiss for thirty seconds. So Corey picked um well no. Natalie picked from Corey first and she picked Joey. Corey got mad and tried to say that he didn't enjoy it because she could tell by his body language that he was disgusted and he wanted to get out of there. I was like, bitch, shut the fuck up. You made a plastic. So then on Sydney's team, um, was it Sydney's team? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was Sydney's team. She picked John. And then Sydney had this attitude turning around that she heard the kissing. And I'm guessing she seen now that he grabbed his butt or he grabbed her butt. Because the bitch throwing out like a little crabby bee that she is. And walked away until she had to go to the hotel. So you could hear her upstairs crying. Everybody taking her don't care into the house. I was just like, Sydney Redhead Taylor, whatever. Taylor Redhead Sydney bitch on Twitter. Get your life together. Stop being so emotional. This is a TV show. This is, you're not really going to find love. Nine times out of ten, these dudes is just on there to play the game, get famous, and move on with their life. They ain't worried about you, bitch. Cause they gonna fuck you and fuck tons of their fans. They have good mad girls now from that TV show. So you actually think they're gonna be faithful to you? Anyways, men ain't faithful. Believe me, I know that. I'm faithful. But I just said men ain't faithful. But anyways. <laughs> so the third challenge was to give the jewelry to, um, oh, hold on. she picked, um, who she picked? She picked Nick from, um, Judy's team. And whatever, what's a lot. 
I'm surprised she didn't make me after a black girl. Uh, but she like white dude, you want me to tell her from Love Games for her season. Yeah. But, um, look at me. Oh no, stop it, stop it, people. Stop it, we know this, okay? Me and me and Nikki know this, okay? So you don't have to tell me. But, um, well, the next challenge was, the next dare was to give Natalie one of your jewelries if the men have watched you. Corey said yeah, Judy said yeah, Sidney said no. So, bitch, you just messed yourself up HBIC. So, the next challenge to that, it was to get your man's name tattooed on you. Corey got Joey's on her heels. Um, Sydney got John, um, yeah, John on her, um, shoulder blade. And what's her name? Um, Judy got Matthews and this shit on her, um, basically her V line, but on her waistline, but her V line. But, um, yeah, so there was a tiebreaker because what's her name? Sydney only got two. And, um, Corey and Judy got three. So it was a type of breaker between Judy and Corey. And the tiebreaker was a personal thing. So, you know, females do not tell nobody their weight. So, I don't know why you don't tell nobody your weight, bitch. Bitch, a gay boy will know how much you weigh, how. I will know how much you weigh. So, I'm just saying, dot com. Um, yeah. So, Judy got on the scale. Corey got the scale. Dudes had to guess the points. I didn't know that. I thought it was just, they just had to say the number, but they did so technical on this one. But anyways, so um, Corey got on. She weighed 116.3, I think it was. And Joey and, what's his name? Jonathan guessed um, 110.3. Yeah, I think it was point three. Point eight, point five, one of them. But it was like 3.5 off or 3.4 off. So then Judy got on the scale. She weighed 133, even. Mm. And people called her fat. But Judy got a nice body. Hey, Judy. Judy Jack Crazy on motherfucking Twitter. How you doing? But anyway, let me hurry up because we only got eight minutes. Less than that, seven minutes. That's just like. But, um, yeah, Matthew and Nick guessed it, and they put 132.2, <laughs> I mean, 132 pounds, and she won by one pound, while they lose was off one pound, so they won. So, Judy was HBIC, so Judy picked the date, she picked Nick, she gave Matthew to Corey, and picked Jonathan for Sydney, knowing that. Sydney don't like Jonathan, Jonathan don't like Sydney, so they both fight. She said, nope, I'm not going to the date if it's him. And um, Natalie was like, who's HBIC? She said, I don't care. I, I have the right to stand up myself. I'm a human. And Natalie was like, how you feel about that, Jonathan? He was just like, I would have been the same way. I wasn't going to like, date that crazy ass bitch. What the fuck I look like, huh? So, after that, Jonathan was talking, I mean, not Jonathan, John was talking to Sydney. And tell her to um, just go on a date for him. And she said, okay, she'll just do it for him. And if he don't want to go, that's fine. But when the date came, Sydney changed her mind. She was like, I'm not doing it. If I don't want to go, if I, don't feel if I feel uncomfortable, I'm not going to do it. So she said, I feel uncomfortable, so I'm not going to go. So after that, Judy, Corey, Jonathan, um, Matthew, and um, Nick all went out to the beach. Um, Nick and Judy went to the little um fireplace to do the little s'mores because she was the HBIC. So after that, they all went home basically to round that up. Um, they all went home. Then it was time for the girls to go home. One of the girls to go home that night. So she got all the dudes to vote for who to go home. It was four against two with Sydney. Four people told her ass to go the fuck home. Two people defended her. <laughs> but y'all wanted to know who's the other person that defended her. I know it was John. John said he defended her. But I know it wasn't Nick. Nick did Judy. Jonathan did Judy or Corey. Matthew did um, Judy. 
extend with Judy. Judy automatically already is going to win, I think, personally, in my opinion. I hope she wins, but she better win. But, um, yeah, so, Sydney started crying, and Jonathan was like, there's a reason why I did this, because I wanted to tell you that I defended you the whole entire time. I told you I was going to ride out for you. I still fought for you, even though they was doing the thing, but it was four against two, so you get the most votes, so you got to go home. So she started crying on that bullshit. I was like, oh my god, no more crying on the show. Thank the fucking Lord. I didn't know this was called Crybaby Games. I thought it was called my fucking love games, huh? I didn't see you get your heart hurt, bitch. But for one, like Jonathan said, I mean, like John said, once you get a man's tattoos, um, initials on you, it's not going to work out. I sure enough not. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But other than that, um, there was eliminations for the dudes. Judy Pig, Nick, Joey, no, yeah, Nick, Joey, and um, what's his name, Jonathan. So after that, Corey automatically got power to save one of them. She automatically saved Joey. And then she had to pick out a Jonathan and Nick. And she tried to say, oh, you have a big heart, but, you know, we just can't go nowhere besides be friends. So you got to go home, Jonathan. So Jonathan was like, you know what, sure that, sure that, where that, where that be, yeah. Shoot everything, believe that well. But, um, yeah, so Jonathan went home. Nick is still there. I hope he's not part of the team. Well, I hope he is part team Judy. I want Judy to win. But I wouldn't be part team Judy no more. That bitch put me um, up for elimination, bitch. Put John up. Don't put John up. I'm just playing. But, alright. I just wanted to do this video. Shout out to Wayne. Shout out to um, Susie. Shout out. To Jessica Halloween. Um, shout out to Ian, shout out to Mitch, shout out to Sean, shout out to Jenna Shetta, shout out to Angel, shout out to Amber, shout out to my motherfucking makeup face, Maple, shout out to my motherfucking eyes, Diva, shout out to Darius, shout out to motherfucking. Everyone in this motherfucking world, bitch. That's how I see it. I don't understand this any fucking more. And my bad. I just went off a subject. <laughs> but yeah, this is the end of my um review. Deuces, I'm out. Follow me on Twitter, Bionic Marcus. Hit me up on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash the real Marcus, or you can just search it up in the search bar Bionic Marcus, and you'll see this lovely face. One of them. Like my new contacts. Alright, but I'm out. This is.